Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Decoding here, and today we'll be looking at single sided staking of source on Saucer Swap. Let's have a look. Okay, so single sided staking, it's a big deal, it's hot off the press, brand new feature on Saucer Swap. And if you follow this YouTube channel, you'll know that I absolutely love Saucer Swap. It's a decentralized exchange built on Hedera. You can swap tokens, you can invest in liquidity pools, you can invest in yield farms or crop circles. I use it daily and I'm forever collecting those rewards. It's fantastic. I really, really do enjoy using it. Um, so when I found out over the weekend on Twitter that they've just deployed their single sided staking feature, I just had to get this video recorded. OK, so before I jump into it, Please like and comment on this video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you're notified every time I add a video. Just trying to build this channel so I can create more of this content for you. So let's bookend that and move on. So previous video I've done, uh, link to which at the top of the screen here, uh, I've gone through their swapping, their liquidity pools, the farming, connecting wallets, all that kind of cool stuff that comes up straight out of the box. But the staking tab was always grayed out. So it's no longer grayed out as of this video. So we'll look at that in a second. However, before we do that, one thing I noticed today was if you click into liquidity, actually, you don't need to. This little red ticker along the top here tells you that there are some liquidity pools that are depreciated. This affected me today. So when I was going to look at the staking, I was like, ah, what's going on? So don't worry. Click into the liquidity here and it'll explain exactly what you need to do. You basically need to identify the LP that is depreciated. You need to um, unstake your LP and then withdraw your assets and then restake if you want to. Okay, it's very, very easy. It takes like two or three minutes. You need to approve all the transactions in your Hashpack wallet. Bang on. So that's the first thing. Secondly, go into staking. So single sided staking. Now, what I love about it is it mitigates the risk of impermanent loss. Now I've done a video on impermanent loss that I published a couple of days ago. Link to it is at the top of the screen here. During that video, I explain what impermanent loss is, what it means, how it affects you. It's a good video. Please, please watch that and drop me a like and a comment on the actual video because I love doing videos like that. Try to just kind of break down jargon in the crypto industry. So single sided staking mitigates that. There's no risk of impermanent loss. Now, I'm not giving you advice. I'm not saying invest all your money on uh, single sided staking in source. Not at all. I'm just saying, have a look, take a look, do your own research, understand the risks, understand the rewards invest safely cool so stake your source to earn triple rewards we'll understand what they are in a second without the risk of impermanent loss in liquidity pools and in yield farms you have to invest two tokens now the market's up and down all the time right so if you invest on day one it's worth a thousand bucks or whatever if you then withdraw that asset in on day 100 if the market's up and down or the difference between asset one and two is is wider or whatever the case may be, there could be a chance that when you withdraw your assets, the value of them tokens added together is lower than your original investment. That's your permanent loss. OK, impermanent loss is whilst it's still invested. So understand that. Single sided staking, you're only investing one token. So you don't have that. When you withdraw, it doesn't matter if the value has gone up or down. It, it, it doesn't matter because your investment was your original investment. You're just withdrawing this now valued a higher or lower amount. It's appreciated or depreciated. Okay, so you're removing that risk. Fantastic, really is. Phase one's been launched. So this is the single sided staking of source. They, uh, phase two would all be about, uh, what's this? Stake your X source in community pools. Okay, we'll understand more, more about that. You've got more info here. Have a read, bit of bedtime reading. And then you've got phase three to be released, whatever that is. We'll re read more about that later. Again, there's a link here for more, more info on single-sided staking. Okay, we won't read that. This is just showing you the UI. Okay, so to stake your source, you first have to associate your token. I haven't, I've already done that. Okay, I was having a little tinker earlier. When you click stake, it will be a familiar UI that we've seen before. If you click on swap, you see this UI, click in stake, and then click stake, similar UI. So you can stake 25 to 50% or max of your source holdings. If you are staking native HBAR, you have to do all of it. If you're staking to a node through your wallet. You have to do all of it automatically. It's all of your, all of your holdings. 
you don't do that with source. A little bit different. And um, before I click state, how are we making triple rewards? Well, we uh, we receive sources from HBAR native staking, which is now live, farmer missions, which is the farming here, and also a portion of the swap fees on your liquidity pool, proportionate to your actual investment. Cool, understand. Again, do some bedtime reading. Click these links, have a good read, understand it. If you click stake, associate your token in your hashback wallet, and I'm gonna do 25%, okay? That's 15,900 for me. If I click stake, it'll ask me to approve it in my hashback wallet. Done, click approve. I say executing, it'll go do 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 for a few seconds. I never, never edit these videos. So what you see is what you get. And I'll say done now. There we go. How quick was that? <laughs> click done, close your wallet. And you can close these, but I think you need to uh, refresh the screen. So let's refresh. There we go. Um, it's all good. So I've got a uh, claimable source. I've got a thousand pounds and I've got 37,000 of source state, single sided. Okay. So TVL is 3,886 pounds total, total value. Okay. Approximate APR 30%. Outside of the world of crypto, if somebody told me you're going to get 30% interest on your investment. I'll bite the hand off. It's good. Really good. Not quite as good as some of the liquidity pools and crop circles, but there's risk of impermanent loss in that. You don't have that risk in single-sided staking. Don't take this advice. This as advice. It's not advice. I'm not telling you. I'm not Dave from the pub telling you to invest. I'm not doing that. Just saying there's less risk in single-sided staking than what there is comparatively to liquidity pools and crop circles. Do your own research. Make sure you only risk, make sure you only invest what you can afford to lose and all that kind of gubbins. Do your own research. That's single-sided staking. It's a big deal, huge, hot off the press, source of swap. Love what you're doing. Very well done. You're doing a grand job. If you like this video, add a comment, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified every time I add something. It just helps me create this content and I love doing it. Really do. So thank you very much for watching. Um, that's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.